It is Saturday, game two. Phillies versus Astros. Our best picks are on the way. My name's Austin from Calling Our Shot. And I'm Logan from Calling Our Shot. And we are back for our favorite picks. And look, we're closing on 48,000 subscribers or 50,000 subscribers. Logan, what do you think they should do? I think you guys should go down and hit that subscribe button if you already aren't subbed. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what more possibly Austin and I can do for you besides giving out free winners. So you should definitely pay us back that favor. Yeah, absolutely. Let's recap yesterday. Game one. We'll talk about game one, then get into our favorite picks. What an electric game. Speaking of electric, our only bet of the day, Philly's first five run line plus a half. They were down 5-0. And look, never doubted it. They get it never done. Coming it. back, tied 5-5, ended up winning the game outright. Logan, how are you feeling? Because we know we uh we know you're you're a Phillies fan. You live in Philadelphia. How's everything going this morning? Yeah, that was that was electric. I mean, I, I kind of lost a little bit of my voice just from shouting at the TV. And I, I also lost a lot of sleep, finished close to like 1 p.m. Eastern time uh, in, in the in the at the nighttime. It's just insane. But you know what? It, it was it was just the, the resilience of that Phillies team. I, I've been saying there's something special about that team all season long to go down five nothing in a baseball game. Look, I, I got to admit, Austin, I was looking at our bet and I was like, Ooh, that's pretty chalked. I was just I, and, and I know a lot of you people, in, you know, in the comments today will probably say I didn't think that first five was going to hit at all. But that's what, you know, that's what happens on championship runs. You just get that kind of magic. And let me tell you right now, when Luis Garcia came out again, I had flashbacks of the 18 inning game against Seattle. And I was like, oh, Phillies, we need to get to him early. And sure enough, JT Realmuto made sure we got to him early. So it was it was crazy. It was electric. And they did what they needed to do. They stole a game in Houston. And if they come worst case scenario, split 1-1 coming back to Philly, that's a huge win in their book. Yeah, absolutely. It was an electric game. I, I had thrown away that money, that ticket. I was like, yeah, no, this this <laughs> thing's got no chance of hitting. But hey, they get it done. Verlander ends up selling. And look, what an electric game. It was a late finish. We've been doing really good for the NBA. The NBA video will be live in a little bit. Um, we have a bunch of other videos popping up soon on the screen. You can definitely go check those out at the end of the video. NFL, college footballs today. It's going to be a great day of fo- uh, just sports for this weekend. But Logan, I'm going to let you tackle our only play of the day. It's a player prop, but I think that people will like this one. Yeah, it, it, it is a player prop. And we're going to, it, obviously, it's going to be a pitcher prop. And we're going to take Zach Wheeler over 16 and a half outs. Minus 129 on Caesars is your best value. And I've seen it it fluctuating a lot, uh, you know, between DraftKings and, and Caesars. DraftKings, originally, honestly, Austin, when we were writing up the show notes, it was like minus 120. It's already been juiced in the, the course of like 15 or 20 minutes to minus 140. So maybe the question is, Logan, would you take this at 17 and a half outs if it popped up to 17 and a half outs? The answer would be yes. If, if the line does go up, I would take it again. So if you don't have it on either of these books, I do like Philly's first five run line. Once again, I, I really think that's a solid bet you could make. Wheeler versus Framber Valdez. I I think, you know, the Phillies, <laughs> they got to be riding some sort of momentum from last night. And I, I think in the first five, they will. But we're going to we're going to tackle Zach Wheeler's outs in this one, because if you look at yesterday baseball, you know, you got to you got to in the in the playoffs, you have to consider what the team did yesterday. The Phillies didn't get any length they wanted out of Noah yesterday. Uh, Thompson. He managed aggressively with his bullpen. You know, he deployed the bullpen. He was like, you know what, Noah, thank you. Thank you for what you did. Tucker absolutely had Noah's number. And he said, you're not going to face Tucker a third time. Took Noah out, you know, a lot sooner than I thought. And I don't, you know, I think today we're going to absolutely see them them get some length out of Zach Wheeler because they kind of have to. I mean, I don't think they're going to aggressively manage this game again. They kind of got what I what I said they they needed. They got the, the split in Houston, worst case scenario. They're going to leave Zach Wheeler out there. We need five and two thirds innings pitch for this bet to cast for, for this bet to cash. And I think he'll, he'll get it done for us today. If you look at Wheeler's numbers and four postseason starts, Wheeler has yet to go under six innings pitched. So great sample size. He's, he's yet to actually go on under this line. If, if you're looking at it. So five and two thirds is, is what we do need. We were in the postseason. Look at it. Look at his numbers, right? 1.78 ERA 0.51 whip and 25 and one thirds innings pitched. Having such a low whip is amazing because what what sinks bets like this is just inefficient pitching, right? Giving up the hit parade, right? Noah Noah gave up a little hit parade yesterday, so <laughs> so did Verlander. But if you if you look at you know also walking batters, that can also you know really sink a bet like this. And Wheeler has knock on wood, he's been really good at not doing that. So and he's also the master 
of swing and miss, right? Eight strikeouts in his last two starts. That's what you need versus Houston. You need the swing and miss pitches. You just you need the the pitchers like you know yeah Altuve. Altuve's been still kind of quietly slumping. He got a hit late later in that game, but it was it was a pop fly bloop. Um, but you, you need the, the the hitters just reaching out over the plate, just trying to throw their bat at it and looking silly. And Wheeler is definitely the type of pitcher. He's got some filthy stuff. I think he'll be able to you know do, command his fastball really well. His fastball. You know, in the in the postseason, has just been on a new level. They were kind of talking about it on the telecast last night, kind of set, setting it up for today. And let me tell you, it's got some extra velocity on it, right? Because, you know, these pitchers come out with a little bit of extra adrenaline. And I think Zach Wheeler, you know, coming out in this World Series start will uh, have that adrenaline today. Most of these Houston hitters actually haven't even seen Wheeler before. I expect them to have the advantage the first couple times through the order because these these hitters are going to kind of be guessing what he's, what he's going to be throwing. And not not really being able to time up Zach Wheeler will definitely benefit us, you know, at least the first few times through the order. So I think he's going to efficiently pitch through five innings pitch. And then the question is, can we just get that extra little bit of length out of out of Zach Wheeler to cash this bet? And I, I think, Austin, we have a really good chance at it. That I just think the Phillies stretched their bullpen yesterday. They managed aggressively. And today they're like, we're going to get some length out of Zach Wheeler. And hopefully we're going to cash this bet. Yeah, they use a lot of their very good relievers, and I don't think they want to be tossing out the bad guys today. So I think they try to get Wheeler into at least the sixth innings pitch. And, you know, if he's struggling, they're probably not going to take him out too early like they did Nola yesterday. And Wheeler's been out absolutely unreal so far this postseason. So I really do like the outs prop. Like Logan said, a good pivot is the Phillies' first five run line if you want to take that. I think you're seeing an over under set at seven for this game. Yeah, you know, yesterday you had Nola and Verlander at six and a half. They easily went soared over. Now you got an over under just seven. Maybe this game does go under. People are obviously going to be just going out there. Oh, these two offenses, Framber Valdez can give up whatever amount of runs. He struggled in the postseason. I think this is a lower scoring game than people do expect. But Logan, I have a question for you. Do you think yeah. the Phillies win this game or do you think Astros even it up? I, w- I wouldn't bet against the fight in Phillies right now. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. If you're just looking at the line, you're like, okay, yeah, Phillies plus value. I, I do like that. But I, Zach Wheeler, to me, has always been their best pitcher. So the question you, you have to ask yourself is, do we think that offense, which was hot last night, once again, can carry into today? Absolutely. They're f- facing Framber Valdez. I think they can definitely get some hits and runs up on Framber Valdez. If Zach Wheeler go, goes out and pitch a really solid game, Hello, we could potentially have a 2-0 Phillies league going back to Philadelphia. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll ride the fight in Phillies tonight. Yeah, that would be electric. I would, If I had to place a bet on the game, I'm betting on the uh, Phillies as well. I can't go against them. Not our 40 plus 4,500 ticket. We appreciate you guys <laughs> always for tuning in. We'll be back for game three. Our NBA video is coming up in a short minute. It'll have the NFL video stick. There's a ton of different content. Go click them all. The videos are on the channel. We would certainly would appreciate it. Let's try to hit 50K subscribers. Who knows? Maybe in the next week or so. We appreciate you guys. Austin Logan signing out. Let's go have another winning day. See you guys again. I think the game's in a couple days. See you then. Peace.